Hello darlings, today we drink. That's right, today I am going to be trying, for the first time, absinthe. Now I had a little bit of it last time I saw Adrian, but um, I got my own set for my birthday, so that's very exciting and I am excited to try everything out. So we've got some things here. These are some basic stuff you have when you drink absinthe. We've got fancy goblet, complete with the little basin in the bottom, which is how much absinthe you pour in. We have ye tiny packet of sugar cubes. <laughs> We have this spoon, which is the one that I wanted really, really bad. I don't even have to hold my hand up. The sun is doing just fine. And then we have this fancy little contraption. This is called a brûlée. I hope I'm saying it right. I don't speak French. <laughs> um, I'm just trying. And this fancy little dude, you put ice in the top. It has this little basin in the bottom that has a hole in it, which is where we'll put our sugar at. Well, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to work it yet. I've watched a couple tutorial videos. I'm winging it. <laughs> so, and then once you put the ice in the top, you put some water, or yeah, you pour some water over the ice so that it gets nice and cold on the way down. And I've got a little thing of ice. Bottle of water. And just in case the brulee doesn't work very well, I did watch one tutorial where somebody took a chilled bottle of water and opened the cap ever so slightly and then kind of squeezed it over the top to make their own steady drip. So we'll find out. Now I did play with the brulee a little bit um, in my kitchen with some water just to see how much of a flow it did. And a lot of the absinthe videos I watched had more of a steady drip and less of a straight flow. And the brulee, both with ice and without ice, seems to do a, a flow of it. So the sugar's gonna dissolve really quickly. If I don't like that, I'll start over with the water bottle instead. So, ye bottle of absinthe. I've never opened one. I don't know if it's a cork or if it's a screw top. We're gonna find out after I figure out how the crap to open it. You know what? I have my corkscrew here. So I am just gonna put this guy together real quick. After I hurt myself. And drag this little point around. Are you gonna actually break through? Come in. There we go. Possibly, maybe. Do do do. That got a good start on it. I should be able to. There we go. Oh, it's a cork. All right, very good. I came prepared. Oh, it has little peel down tabs right here. I'm a genius. Perfect. Let's have a second one. Nope, just that one. That's fine. That's okay. I didn't need the rest of the plastic anyway. We'll get our little garbage pile. I apologize for the mess all over the desk. Oh, it doesn't need a corkscrew. It has its own little dude here. Cute. Very fancy. Ooh, it has a very licorice -y smell to it and a little bit of an herby scent to it as well. Uh, this is Lucid Absinthe and they are one of the companies that actually helped Absinthe be reintroduced into America after it was um, made illegal. So that's fun, fun little tidbit of knowledge. haven't even done anything yet and it's already glogging. Jeez.
Hello, pretty green alcohol. Perfect. Okay, I got it on my hands. Interesting. It's made from grand wormwood, green anise, sweet fennel, hyssop, and Roman wormwood. And I believe the guy at um, Total Wine told me that grand wormwood has matured fully instead of being a young wormwood, so it has more of that uh, flavor. And it's imported from France. And it's 62% alcohol. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna actually put my leaf with my sugar under my brulee because I can make it sit just like that. Perfect. My hair is a wild atrocity today. <laughs> so I was talking to Adrian again, and it's very important that you use actual absinthe sugar and not just the sugar cubes that you get at the grocery store, because this absinthe is designed to actually, or this absinthe, lol, this um, sugar is actually designed to dissolve in cold liquid rather than warm, and this is not a warm thing. Doop, doop, doo. -doo. So that's gonna go right there. This is significantly harder under the brulee. I mean, it has a little drip pan here, but um, when I was trying it earlier, the drip pan was actually overflowing and I don't want my sugar to just flow off the side. So I'm actually gonna take this off real quick and get my sugar set up done already. There we go. And I'll put this back over the top. Perfect. And that'll allow me to move the spoon around to help it drip over the sugar better. So that's nice. Get some ice cubes going up top here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that many in. That is perfect. I'm also gonna grab a tissue because it seems that I got absinthe all down the side of this and this is my husband's desk, not mine. <laughs> and he doesn't drink, so he doesn't want his desk to smell like alcohol. So I'll fix it up more later. Can we just talk about how pretty green this is real quick? You can't really see it very well. Do I have there. This will help. Look at how pretty that is. The camera's got a little bit more of a bluish hue to it than what I'm seeing in real life, but it's gorgeous. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cold water anyway. Um, what I did was I set this in the fridge for about half an hour, not the fridge, the freezer. I set this in the freezer for about half an hour so that I could get really cold water. Here we go. Oh, it's doing the thing where it's not even really dripping. I was afraid that would happen. Can you drip more, please? No, it's not. It's not dripping over the sh Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. And now the sugar is dissolving. Awesome. Let's pour some more of this up top. Go ahead and move this around. Beautiful.
Uh, my sugar is dissolved. I can just fill this the rest of the way. a strong smell to it. It's like permeating the air. You can see the condensation from the cold liquid. That it, little buddy? Okay. So there's a little bit of water still here in my drip pan. So I'm just gonna pour that off the side and set it over this napkin that I grabbed earlier. So after the luging we have this liquid white but kind of green color. I'll hold it up in a minute to see if you can still see the green but there's this like green reflective layer over the top. It's really pretty. Let me see. No, you can't really see it. That's unfortunate. It's absolutely gorgeous. Does that help? No. It has a little bit of a green hue to it for you guys. But um, it actually has quite a bit for me. There's still a little bit of sugar at the bottom. The sugar is not really dissolving that well either. Eh. Rude. That's okay. Okay. Glass of absinthe. Cheers. Hmm. It has a really, really licorice flavor. It's probably due to the fennel and anise. I can't tell if I like it or not. <laughs> it reminds me of a supplement I actually used to take. Um, there is this supplement called, um, it's called Risonate. And they often use it for um, aiding digestion. And it's to help rebuild the lining of the stomach if you've had trauma there or have had a disorder or disease make it dissolve more. It also helps with um, rebuilding the lining of your stomach after prolonged periods on NSAIDs, which can make your lining stop developing. Um, so I don't know. It tastes a lot like that. And I was able to get used to that. I think that's where I'm finding my fondness for this. While it's in the front of my mouth, it has more of a just like cold cold's not a flavor <laughs> it has more of a plain flavor and just tastes cold which is again not a flavor I'm having a lot of trouble describing it um, which is interesting but when I swallow and it goes into the back of my throat and the back of my tongue it has that very strong fennel flavor. 
I think I'll probably have to drink a few glasses before I can decide if I like it or not. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm definitely happy with all the gear. That was fun. And we'll see how much of that bottle did the bottle even take out? Not much. Okay, so I've got a few more glasses of this to go. I might like more sugar in it, actually. Let's try that. Give me one moment. Where to go? Well, pardon me while I dig in the back of my room. Ha! There we go. I've still got a few sugars here, so I'm going to try it with one more, just half of a packet. Each packet comes with two sugars. Probably should have said that in the beginning. Oh well. Here we are. Okay, little dude. Melt. Melt, please. Melt, I say. There we go. Now we'll find out if sweeter is better or worse for my palate. Sweeter's worse. Don't do sweeter. At least not for me. Sweeter's worse. Yeah, no, I'm really going to have to, like, decide if I like it. It'll be interesting to find out. After several more glasses. <laughs> I like it well enough to try several more glasses, so I'm doing good. But yeah, so there I have it. Happy birthday to me. I have an entire absinthe set up. So I will see you guys again later. Bye.